All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I've got something super special for you today. So if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make extra special sure that you hit that like button. I would really very much appreciate it for all the grinding that I've done for this world record, man. I'm so happy that I finally have this completed. Um, So if you guys don't know, I started doing this strategy over a year ago or not this strategy in particular, but trying to take this world record. I, I got it set in my mind over a year ago when I was streaming back on Twitch that I absolutely was going to break this world record. And uh, I finally did it, man. It took me a year to finally, you know, figure out how to do it. I've known for a few months my strategy that I was going to use because of a uh, big shout out here to Stealth McFilthy for showing me a really cool strategy on this map he doesn't know he showed it to me i was watching his stream one day i was just kind of lurking in his stream and i saw him playing die rise and he actually inadvertently showed me how to do um the no perk strategy even though he was just messing around doing his own strategy he wasn't necessarily trying to show that to me um and like i said he didn't even know i was there so i kind of i don't know if he came up with this strategy but if he did shout out to Seth mcfilthy uh, I'm not trying to steal anything from anybody. I'm just, you know, giving credit to who I know was doing the strategy before me. And what that strategy is, is you'll see in the video, if I haven't done it already, it's basically you just take the Ray Gun Mark II, you jump off of the edge of the middle building, and you spin around, shoot one time, it'll knock you back for, far enough so that way you'll land on the ledge on the inside of the next building over. And that right there is the whole strategy. So my biggest thing when going for this strategy was, or going for this world record, was that when you don't have perks and you are on such a high round, it is impossible to kill zombies at a reliable rate because the Sliquifier does not kill zombies past round 100 in one shot. Up to round 100, it's a one shot kill and the chain reaction kills also. Once round 100 hits though, from that point onward, it is no longer a one shot kill. It'll take two shots, three shots, four shots, depending on what round you're on. And that is not very ammo efficient considering the fact that the Sliquifier doesn't have a lot of ammo. So you have to figure out a new way to kill the zombies. And the only way to do that, because this map has no traps is to use the trample steam that is the only thing that will kill zombies at a reliable rate in order for you to be able to traverse the round so from round 101 because round 100 for me was actually a jumping jack round i got really really lucky with that uh, after i finished round 99 i got a jumping jack round and then from round 100 and one, round 101 to 103 the only thing that i used to kill zombies was the trample steam but there's a there's an issue with that also the trample steam is located at the middle room or like uh, where quick revive goes down on that elevator that is an extremely small room and it is very dangerous to train in that room with no perks so one of the biggest issues that i had when i was going to go for this world record was that how am i going to get a trample steam to a safe place and then be able to reliably go back and grab that trample steam because it is a it is if you go down through the buddha room and try to catch an elevator all the way back up to the top from the sweatshop uh, where the power is you will die that is that is guaranteed death i don't care how many monkey bombs you have or how many keys you have to call the elevators you are going to die that the amount of zombies that spawn and how quickly they spawn when you get down there there's n like i don't there's nothing you can do so riding the elevators from the bottom of the sweatshop all the way back up to the top on the rooftop uh the dragon rooftop is there like that's not even a strategy like there's nothing you can do about it so i knew that i'd have to avoid going to the bottom side of the map and watching stealth mcfilthy's strategy i uh, realized that there was a way that you could actually do this world record so i decided to try that out and so i loaded up a bunch of games and i tested it out for myself to see if it would actually work and as you can see it does and uh the strategy literally is is that you just jump off of the building turn around shoot the gun you'll land on the next building and then that restarts the spawn cycle for zombies so you have some time to run all the way to the rooftop before zombies actually spawn and then you run all the way to the top you jump from the rooftop to the other side of the building as you would normally grab yourself a trample steam jump down get into this area where i'm at right now and then just place your trample steam down train zombies around, let the trample steam do its work, and then once the trample steam breaks, jump over, do the repeat the process, grab a trample steam, come back down, put the trample steam down, and just rinse and repeat until the round is over. That is actually extremely difficult. It's much more easier said than it is done because you have to get that turn when you shoot your ray gun to knock you back almost perfect 
in order to actually for it to knock you back far enough in order to get you to that next building and if you mess it up that is also guaranteed death you have one time to mess that up and you're dead because you will fall either into oblivion which will instantly kill you or you'll hit a ledge somewhere on your way down and that'll kill you from fall damage i do want to say also that i did the elevator strat up until round 100 and uh, i mean you can look at that as you will i know uh, Frenzy didn't do that. He trained it the entire time, I'm pretty sure. Or he hoarded the entire time. But um, you can you can look down on this record for that if you want to. I don't really care. I don't have all the time in the world to sit around and do this, but this is a world record that I really, really wanted. So I decided to take the fastest route possible, which was to do the elevator strap because this game, I started at about 12 o'clock p.m. and it was over before seven o'clock. So it took me six and maybe a half hours give or take for me to actually beat this world record and that's actually really good time for me honestly if i had to do this for like a day and a half or two days or anything like that i definitely wouldn't have beat this world record and because i just don't have that much patience nor do i have that much time to put into the world record and stuff like that but so i used the elevator strat just so that way i could get through it a little bit quicker like i said you can look down on me for that you can judge me for it i don't care uh at the end of the day i still played the rounds in full and i also have uh, proof that i played the rounds in full and everything like that i do have gameplay that i will put towards the end of this section of me talking and it'll go through like the st the start where the spawn is and uh how i played through the spawn how i got the trample seam and stuff built how I got back up to the uh, spawn room after I got down and built this liquefier all of that stuff so I, all of that stuff will be included it'll be after I get done talking and I just want to show you guys real fast these are screenshots that I took before and after the game of my player stats uh, so you can see in this first screenshot this is the screenshot just before I played this game of me bre breaking the world record and if you'll look I have uh, 53 perks bought and uh, I'll show you the next screenshot right here so this is actually the screenshot immediately after the game I didn't play any other games this was instantly after I finished this match and I, I actually have gameplay or a recording of me showing myself sh going over and looking at that uh, while I was still recording after the game ended so you can see that I still have 53 perks bought and I uh, ended with like I had a 20 plus thousand kills so you can add all that stuff up if you want to to see if it's actually credible but i promise you it is everything there is going to line up perfectly as it should i did not buy any perks i didn't I, the only time that i went down was right there at the end which you guys will see that also man i just i'm so glad that i finally have this completed this was something that i've been cert like gunning for for so long and it uh it's kind of surreal to like feel that i even like finally did it it's kind of crazy I, i'm just gonna go ahead and leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay like i said if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button also i would really very much appreciate it for something like this since i've been gunning for it for so long if you respect the grind if you like cod zombies or anything like that then it would really mean a lot to me if you could hit that subscribe button and hit that like button i would very much appreciate it but anyways like i said guys i'll see you in the next video but until then stay safe see you later and as always i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching guys Out. Why don't you go explore? See if you can get the power on. This looks useful. Darn if I know what for, though. Blood bag. All this crap looks the same to me anyhow. Maybe I need this other thing more. I'll leave this one for later.
think this goes here. Oh, fuck it. I just jam it in. That was a whole lot of hell. Not much reward. It's a bit of something, all right. All this crap looks the same to me anyhow. This'd be a darn side easier if it came with direction. I think I'd better just hang on to this. It's a bit of something, all right. Like stew. What kind of person straps explosives to a monkey? Let's 
doesn't sound good. Catch me there, swords! You guys got a little too much energy for my life. I might try this out on my dinner. They wear and tear on my dentures. <laughs> Later, Gator. And Rustman said, let there be light. And the light was too scared to disagree. Hoping we get a break. Catch me there, swords! They're crawling over every damn surface! You almost give me a damn heart attack! when it comes to killing freaks.
picking on me. Max ammo. This is what I've been waiting for. Like what you are, a pile of raw sewage. 